We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is uh, Josiah Gravel, uh, and I'm Jeremy Kubik. Um, I was uh, I was in the army. I was airborne. Uh, jumped out of planes for years, and uh, uh, following that, uh, I went to UNCW and got my bachelor's in exercise science. Um, so. Uh, fitness is one of those things that uh, I, I kind of fell in love with. And I played sports for years. So a lot of experience and then a lot of knowledge um, from school as well. Um, and then uh, I got out of the Navy a few months ago. I was in the Navy for uh, eight years. Um, I just started school actually uh, also in exercise science. So I'm working on my bachelor's there. Um, I'm going to uh, Parkside, Wisconsin, um, or uh, University of uh, Wisconsin Parkside. And then uh, also a fitness enthusiast. I've been uh, into uh, weightlifting and CrossFit for a few years now. And so uh, it's been a, a, a good uh, journey into fitness here. And uh, so we're going to talk about some of the supplements that Young Living provides and uh, kind of um, how they are alternatives for um, some maybe uh, – uh, popular supplements that you may already be taking. Um, so just real quick to get started, um, I just kind of want to define what an athlete is. And so um, a lot of people have an idea in their head um, of what an athlete is, and, and maybe they don't put themselves into that category. Um, you can find a definition for athlete online that you can find any uh, definition that'll fit, you know, whatever you want it to be. Um, you know, most people just think it's, it's uh, somebody who's, you know, in a sport, maybe professionally or, or at an amateur level. Um, but it's, it's really anybody who's active. Um, I would define it as uh, anybody who has a defined fitness goal um, and is taking steps to achieve it. Um, so if you fit into that category, um, this class is for you. Yeah, and, and that can be anything. You know, there's many aspects to fitness from weight loss to hypertrophy, trying to get smaller or trying to get bigger, uh, improving strength, power, uh, endurance, flexibility, range of motion. Um, all those things are aspects of fitness. And so, you know, just because we said athletes, don't let that hinder you from putting yourself in that category. If you are exercising, if you are trying to get more healthy, more fit, trying to look better, feel better, or just be more healthy, um, this is you, that's for you. Um, so so real quick, um, we'll just start off with uh, talking about a few supplements that uh, are extremely common that most people um, are already taking. Um, I'm sure a lot of people out there um, take, a, a lot of people take a whey protein supplement. Um, and, and, you know, without knowing exactly what the sourcing is or what the company is, right. um, there's, there's quite a bit of, um, good and bad out there for uh, whey protein. That's a fact. And so, uh, I mean, back in 2010, um, Consumer Reports did a study on the top 15 whey protein supplements on the market. Um, out of those top 15, all of them contained uh, high amounts of cadmium, arsenic, lead, and mercury. Um, so the sourcing for your protein does matter. And so you don't want to be taking a, um, you know, a cheaper product. Um, you don't want to be filling your body with heavy metals that are going to have long-term um, effects on your brain or, um, you know, that are cancerous or anything like that. And so you want to um, be careful of that. Um, also, um, pretty much every whey protein supplement out there contains uh, RBGH, which is a, a recumbent uh, bovine health or uh, growth hormone. Mm -hmm. um, and so what that does is that just makes the, the cows bigger. Um, it makes them leaner. It makes them... Um, uh, produce more milk. And so it, it creates all these um, growth aspects in cows and the products that they create um, are really high in uh, uh, LGF-1, which is a, um, it is a uh, protein that um, stimulates insulin and it communicates to your body to, uh, to grow cells. And so you're consuming these products that contain LGF-1. Um, LGF-1 um, in children is responsible for uh, growth spurts. Um, in adults, it is responsible for growing cancer cells um, just because your body does not need to grow cells. And so when it starts growing cells and it doesn't need to, um, you have a big problem. So, so your, your goal in your diet should definitely be to reduce um, LGF-1. And a big part of that is, uh, is, you know, commercial dairy products, which includes whey protein. Right. Absolutely. And, and we've all done it. You know, when I was in Iraq, uh, the food wasn't great. Uh, we were drawing down you know, trying to close, close bases. And I was taking six protein shakes a day and I got big, you know, I, I definitely increased mass. I increased size, I increased power. Uh, but the supplements that I was taking, I didn't really pay attention to what I was doing. Yeah. I knew some of the names of, of, you know, the different, um, 
uh, constituents that were in it, but I didn't really know where it was coming from. And so, yeah, I got big, but I didn't know what I was doing, what I was actually putting in my body. Right. And the same can be said for, I mean, it's not just limited to protein. I mean, you've got pre-workouts, post-workouts. Um, you've got a lot of um, different vitamins and minerals. And the sourcing for vitamins and minerals, um, if it's not done properly, I mean, a lot of vitamins and minerals contain heavy metals. They contain other toxins. I mean, I mean, lead and mercury are the big ones, but there's other heavy metals that can be in your um, vitamins and minerals as well. Mm -hmm. So um, you just want to be very careful of the sourcing. Or they're not bioavailable. You know, a lot of times, you know, you're taking a supplement, your body's not really using it, and it's just passing through your body. Uh, and, and I know for myself, I want my best bang, biggest bang for my buck. Um, so I want, I want to be absorbing and actually <clears throat> using what I'm taking. Exactly. And I mean, if you're taking it, and you're not using it. I mean, you're just wasting your money. Right. And so you want, I mean, just for dollar value too, you want your body to absorb what, you know, the nutrients that are in what you're taking. So uh, real quick, we're going to talk about a couple of uh, daily supplements that we take, but also um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, routine supplements that we take for, um, you know, when you're working out or when you're recovering. And so uh, real quick, we'll start off with Ningxia. So Ningxia is a is a um, it is a antioxidant uh, juice supplement that um, that Young Living makes. He's Cheers. got some. Um, not only does it taste good, but um, like I said, super high in antioxidants. You've got uh, you know we have a lot of um, uh, anyone who's familiar with antioxidants knows um, a really common one um, is blueberries or blueberry juice. People drink a lot of that. Mm -hmm. um, Ningxia is, um, they're made with from wolf, the juice is made from wolfberries. Um, wolfberries are six to eight times higher in antioxidants than uh, blueberries. So it's a very high uh, potent antioxidant drink. Um, anything to add? All right. Well, um, you know, one of the, one of the biggest reasons for taking an antioxidant is <clears throat> the things that we're in contact with daily uh, are, are comprised with free radicals. Basically, it's an imbalance electrically. Um, and so you need something with an antioxidant to offset the oxidative stress within your body um, to help restore health to your cells. And that's on a cellular level. Your body's made up of, you know, trillions of cells. Well, that's actually on a cellular level to promote that health uh, and an actual um, electrical balance within your body. Uh, and that actually uh, is good also for uh, controlling the growth rate of those cells. Um, <clears throat> right. And in addition to free radicals, um, uh, antioxidants also help um, in post-workout recovery, um, during your workouts, you create a lot of oxygen. Your body's um, creating a lot of oxidative stress. And so especially if you're working out a lot, um, it's important to take in a lot of uh, antioxidants. Mm -hmm. And we take, I, we take that on a daily basis, the Ningxia Red. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you uh, well, my wife and I say this all the time, we feel a lot more human when we're taking it. Uh, that's kind of a funny way to put it, but we just feel better uh, just as soon as we take it. It just brings us up uh, and you'll feel it uh, almost immediately. So. All right. And then... Uh... Moving on here. Um, another one that we take daily, um, we take Omega Gize. Um, it's a Young Living supplement. I'll always switch it over here. So um, you can see kind of what's in it, but it's it's very high. Um, is this the right one? Yes. Yeah. So uh, it's very high in omega-3 fatty acids. It's similar to a fish oil um, supplement that you might already take, um, but with uh, fish oil supplements, you just want to be careful that you that uh, that the sourcing is good. There's a, a lot of I mean, you can you can look this up online, but there's a lot of controversy mm -hmm. with the sourcing for fish oil. Again, your heavy metals and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, and you and you run into it a lot, and a lot of times you can smell it even when you open a, a fish oil bottle. You can tell. Um, but I mean, if they're not using good sources for the fish oil, um, you know depending on, you know, if it's you know, wild fish or, you know, whatever, or, you know, you're dealing with like a big hatchery or whatever, but the, the sourcing for the, for the fish oil, um, is a big component in how, um, uh, not only bioavailable, but how healthy it is for you. Right. Um, and then as you can see, there's also, uh, we got some CoQ10 in here, um, vitamin D. Um, so it's a, it's a pretty good, uh, supplement here. Let's move on. So next we're going to talk about super cow plus super cow plus is something that, um, let's see, it's kind of bright. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so it's it's another one that we take daily. Um, as you can see, um, a lot of calcium supplements um, they just have tons of calcium, mm -hmm. um, way more than um, your daily value should be. Uh, we don't have a, a huge problem in the U.S. with um, 
calcium deficiencies, um, but it is um, it, it is common. And the uh, but you can see in here uh, something that is extremely common also is a vitamin K deficiency. Mm -hmm. So there's a vitamin K in here, vitamin D. Um, so those are all uh, important to get. And then also um, you know their their um, their active blend down here uh, or the action blend uh, that just helps the bioavailability of the of the minerals that are in SuperCal Plus. Mm -hmm. So. And if you and if you look below that, also you'll see like the black spruce, uh, copaiba. Uh, it's infused with essential oils, and so what? One of the biggest benefits of that is the essential oils. Obviously, they're formulated uh, for different things within your body, but they also increase the the availability and the usability to go throughout your body, not just be limited to just uh, certain sources. So, um, and then I think we have next we're moving into. What we're using during workouts here. So um, next, we're going to start talking about um, as we go into our routine in the gym, or or you know, however it is that you work out. How are you preparing your body? Like, how are you preparing your body not only to excel and and get get the uh, benefits out of your workout that you need, um, but also are you preparing your body for recovery afterwards? Mm -hmm. And so, are you preparing your body to? Um, to, to, to grow and repair the cells that you're going to damage during um, your the, the stress that you're putting on your muscles. So we're going to talk about um, this is uh, amino wise. So amino wise is a uh, it's a um, branch chain amino acid supplement um, that Young Living makes. Um, so um, BCAs are a very common supplement for um, people who are trying to build muscle or um, people who are trying to recover. Um, uh, post, you know, um, long endurance exercises. And so um, what aminos are, they're just, uh, they're kind of the building blocks of your cells. They, they um, comprise proteins. I mean, that's what proteins are made out of amino acids. And so um, BCAAs are made out of uh, leucine, um, isoleucine, and valine. And so um, that combination together is specifically what the body needs for cell building and repair. Right, right. These are the basic building blocks of your muscle cells. Um, so, as, as Josiah said, you know the the um, what's it called? Uh, these ones. Yeah, the L-arginine. Uh, these are these are yeah, beta alanine. These are these are basic building blocks for the for the muscle growth within your cells. And so, by increasing, a lot of times we don't get that within our diet. Um, even even within your your meats and other things, especially. But if if you're going uh, raw vegan or a vegetarian, a lot of your aminos, it's tough to get your aminos. You have to combine your diet just perfectly. So this is a great supplement, especially uh, if you're exercising, uh, to increase the building blocks for muscle within your cell, assist in muscle recovery, um, and and therefore build that, that muscle within yourself. Right, and so um, I normally take this uh, 20 minutes prior to working out. Um, this is kind of the pre-workout that I take, mm -hmm. just so that way, um, as I'm working out um, and your, your body's starting to get stressed out and damaged cells, um, that your body has those nutrients available right. to immediately start um, repairing those cells. And so um, there's a few other things in here. I mean, there's, there's in addition to the, um, switch back here. In addition to um, the branch chain amino acids, um, there's a few other things in there. Um, we have uh, um, L-citrulline, um, uh, glutamine, uh, beta-alanine, and L-taurine. And so all of those are um, really potent antioxidants. Um, they all promote uh, um, good blood flow, things like that. So um, there's, there's, there's other things in there in addition to the BCAAs that are important for your body. Um, and then also, um, anyone who's familiar with things like beta alanine and the effects that that gives you as far as uh, muscle oxygenation and things like that, um, really good for you while you're working out. And so, moving on. I think, was that, I think that was the only one. For, so. and, then, and then for, uh, also for pre-workout, um, if you're trying to boost your energy, you're feeling groggy, whatever, um, I like to take the... Uh, uh, Young Living Nitros, which is a it's a Ningxia Red supplement. Mm -hmm. um, it's similar to Ningxia Red, but it contains things like Ningxia and green tea extract, um, a few natural caffeines, as well as um, it's a vitamin B supplement. So there's uh, vitamin B12 and B6 in there. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, yeah, I was just say right along with the with that. Um, so a lot of your uh, energy boosters are based on caffeine, sugar, L your taurine, all that kind of thing, and they've been proven to not be good for you. Uh, 
one of the basic um, basic elements within the Ningxia Nitro is D-ribose, and D-ribose is one of the um, primary ingredients in uh, in your ATP, which is your uh, actual fuel source for your body. So this is this is great for replacing like your five-hour energies. Um, pretty good for replacing like your. Um, I just uh, talk, I just I keep repeating myself. Um, um, re replacing your five-hour energy and your pre-workout. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Um, but it's kind of. Um, but it's based on your actual actual energy sources rather than just stimulants that lift you up and then drop you off. Right. So there's no crash involved um, right. with the uh, with the Ningxia nitros. All right. So moving on. So um, that's kind of the what we do before working out and then during working out. Um, there's a few things that you can do. Um, we use um, kind of the oils uh, during our workout. So uh, what I like to do, um, I'll put uh, peppermint in my water bottle, uh, things like that. Um, anybody, if you, I would encourage you to try that if you haven't done it. Um, really opens up the airways, it invigorates you. Like it's, it's, uh, I don't know. It just, it really wakes you up and focuses you. When you start drinking down some, uh, some peppermint, and it's you're awake. <laughs> yeah, it, it's stimulating. Is what it is. Yeah, very. Um, and then also, um, I like to use, let's see if I can get it here. Um, I use Clarity a lot. Um, anyone who's, if you follow me on Snapchat or, or Instagram or whatever, um, you'll see that uh, I rub uh, Clarity on my hands, and then I take a couple deep whiffs uh, before um, I do one, one round maxes or three round maxes, um, just trying to uh, really open up your airways and, uh, and, and get you focused right before a lift. Right, absolutely. Uh, the, it's a it's a very good blend for focus, also for uh, circulation, um, and it really it really helps. It makes a difference uh, just to get get you in that zone to uh, to do your lift or to to stay focused. Um, so, which is it's it's you know when you start to get worn out or whatever, it's easy to get off track, and that'll help you uh, get back to where you need to be there. Right, and there's a, and there's a few other oils that are pretty good for that. Um, I use a lot of uh, RC or um, Raven. You can put a couple drops of that in your towel for if you're, you know, breathing that in, um, you know, wiping your face with it, whatever. Um, it really, um, RC is a uh, respiratory care oil. And so it, it really opens up your airways. It's a lot of uh, like eucalyptus, things like that. So it's, it stimulates your lungs and it gets you, uh, it gets you, um, you know, transferring oxygen properly. Exactly. It, it, <laughs> it really helps with ox oxygen absorption <laughs> so, so anyway um, so those are some things you can do during your workout to help um, especially if you're doing like cardio um, anything any oil really that contains eucalyptus um, I personally um, I use a blend that I made myself um, just uh, eucalyptus rudadia globalis and peppermint um, equal parts and I'll rub that um, kind of on my face um, and on my neck so I'm breathing it in while I'm, I'm doing some cardio yeah. so Right. Uh, it works pretty good. It definitely helps. Yep. And then, uh, so let's start talking about uh, post-workout slash recovery and some uh, some different things that are available to you. Um, in addition to the Amino Wise, um, I, know, I know a lot of people that take Amino Wise, in addition to taking it before working out, they also take it after working out um, as, a, as a recovery. Um, so Amino Wise is very good for that because, like I said, it is it prov the BCAAs are providing the essential building blocks for muscle. Um, so as your body is recovering, um, it's important that it's able to uh, build muscle. Um, but in addition to that, um, it is good to take a protein supplement or, um, I mean, if you're not eating a, enough protein in your diet, taking a protein supplement is, is definitely important. Um, I take uh, the Young Living Pure Protein Complete. <clears throat> That's kind of a big one to unpack. Yeah. I mean, anyone who's um, looked at it can tell you. So just, um, you know, just just as an overview, I'll, I'll take this away in a second. I just want to point a few things out. Um, so as you can see, the, it's, uh, uh, the actual protein comes from five different complete protein sources. And so uh, if you're not familiar with what a complete protein is, um, there are 20 amino acids that we know of you know, in our diet. And so nine of those amino acids, your body cannot produce, and they're considered essential amino acids. Um, and so 
uh, a complete protein is a protein that contains all nine essential amino acids. So it's giving your body everything it needs to not only um, you know, produce muscle, produce all the things that it needs uh, those aminos for, but also giving it the building blocks to create the other proteins um, that it needs to create, um, which are the 11 non-essential aminos. And so it's, uh, it's important that you're taking in complete proteins, um, especially like in your diet, uh, there's a few complete, complete proteins. And then also, um, you know, a lot of people, if you are conscious of it, you can create um, complementary proteins. So proteins that um, when they're mixed together, create a complete protein mm -hmm. in your diet. Yes. Um, so that's very important. So there's um, six complete proteins, or I'm sorry, five complete proteins. Um, you have uh, whey protein. They have a um, hormone organic um, or hormone-free organic um, whey protein. They also have a hormone organic uh, or hormone-free organic uh, goat protein. Um, there's pea protein. There's an egg white protein, and then there's also an organic hemp protein in there. And so those all combined together um, not only give you um, your essential amino acids, but also um, the uh, Pure Protein Complete also has uh, a lot of other aminos. So there's 14 total amino acids in uh, Pure Protein Complete. So um, giving you a lot of, of giving your body a lot of the aminos that it needs for recovery. Um, so that's important. Right. And in addition to that, uh, I don't know if you saw under the, the uh, enzyme blend. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, take a look at the enzyme blend as well. Alpha and beta amylase, protease, lipase, cellulose. Um, that list right there, those are your enzymes uh, that uh, they they come uh, from your from your protein sources, but they they help you absorb the the protein into your body. Uh, and so these the five proprietary um, the proprietary blend of the five different proteins complementing one another. They work at different speeds. Uh, some of them are going to work faster. Some of them are going to work slower, um, so that you're continually feeding your muscle over over time. And then the, the enzymes help your body absorb that and actually make it usable for your body as well. Right, and it's and there's a lot of um, there's a lot of very superficial knowledge about proteins um, kind of floating around. I know for years. Um, I mean, when I joined the Navy, everything was that you know. We, everything was bro science. So it was like, yeah. whatever the guy next to you told you, I mean, you kind of took it, it as well. It really law. was. I mean, it's, it's just <laughs> Oh, that bad. one's not good. That one, take this one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not good. <laughs> I mean, I remember for the longest time, um, I thought there was only three kinds of protein, um, whey, casein, and soy, uh, <laughs> which, which is, is completely Hard false. Those days. I mean, <laughs> but I mean, anybody who's, who's, who's just kind of started working out or, or, or really has a very superficial knowledge of uh, proteins and aminos, um, it's, it's kind of easy to get lost in the weeds of all, all the different um, options that are out there. Um, but this is a, is a, is a pretty awesome blend. Um, as far as you got your, your, there's two different whey proteins. Um, the reason the go whey is in there is to cut down on uh, the lactose that's in there. So you don't, if you have a, um, uh, a lactose sensitivity, um, you won't be affected by this protein. So it's, it's, um, right. in that respect, it's very good. Right. And I can even say for myself, uh, there there was a time when I was dealing with um, uh, an egg albumin allergy, or not allergy, but sensitivity. Every time I had eggs, it would kind of upset my stomach. I must have gotten some some bad eggs or something. We were getting them from a farm at the time. But anyway, so I took the protein, and it does have uh, the egg white protein, and it didn't bother my stomach at all when other proteins were bothering my stomach. So I can definitely testify to the fact that um, like the purity and the, and the completeness of that as well has as um, it was good for me even when I was dealing with that kind of sensitivity. Right, so. and there's and there's a few, there's other things in here too. So if you look at, not only, especially if you look at other proteins, um, you won't see this. So if you look at the uh, the actual um, supplement facts over here on the, on the screen, there's a lot of other things in here um, that, you, that you just won't find in other proteins. Um, you got pantothetic acid is extremely important for you. You've got, uh, there's a lot of calcium in it, there's zinc, um, you've got the biotin, um, you know, niacin, all extremely important for your body um, to absorb and to, uh, and to help with recovery. So you want to be, you want to be taking, um, if you're not getting all that in your diet, um, this can help get you into that, that desired level. Mm -hmm. um, and then also um, they do have, let's see if it's on here. 
Yeah, it's not on the supplement facts. Another thing that's in there, um, there's another um, supplement in there called uh, Elevate TP, um, which is a um, ATP booster that helps your body with recovery. So um, if, I mean, I know you mentioned it earlier, mm -hmm. um, ATP is kind of the body's currency of energy. Um, so um, it stands for, uh, is it adenium triphosphate? Ad adenosine triphosphate. Ad yeah, adenosine triphosphate. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's that's the body's currency of energy. So your your cells, when they react, all, when every muscle contraction that you have um, is stimulated by ATP. Yes. And so your body is constantly generating ATP, and it's looking for um, ways to generate ATP. And so you get a lot of it from carbohydrates and fats and uh, uh, creatine and things like that. Um, so there's um, there is um, a supplement in here that's an apple seed extract that boosts your body's ability to produce ATP. So that's uh, definitely important for recovery as your body is trying to um, <clears throat> rebuild the stores of ATP that are stored in your muscles. Right. Exercise is all about energy <clears throat> conservation while <clears throat> maximizing your ability to work. Um, so you're, you're trying to trying to accomplish, you know, your endurance or your heavy lifting or your, your gaining muscle or whatever, while at the same time, maintaining your blood sugar levels, maintaining your glycogen, your, your muscle storage. It's all about energy conservation. And so I have to say that this is one of the best sources of actual energy conservation that I have found. Um, it's between the protein and the aminos for sure. <clears throat> all right, so now we're gonna kind of move into uh, um, a few other oils that we use um, post-workout. Um, so yeah, if you wanna... Absolutely. So post-workout, obviously, one of the things you're dealing with is uh, throughout the usage of ATP, your body's producing, well, your fuel sources. You've got carbs, lipids, uh, which is your fats and proteins. Okay. And when your body breaks down those sources to harvest ATP, it's also going to produce water, which it's going to recycle, it's going to use. And it's also going to produce uh, CO2 and lactic acid. So one of the things that um, what's going to happen is you're going to start to feel muscle soreness. Uh, also, I know for myself, I jumped out of planes for years. I've got some other injuries that I deal with uh, on a regular basis, but that's not going to keep. I'm not going to let that keep me from working out. So one of the things that I use for sure is Panaway, um, and this is just a small bottle that I keep in my kit and I take with me all the time. Panaway is uh, it, it's a it helps to, to manage your um, your muscle discomfort. Uh, there's things that we can't say because we're not doctors, but uh, <laughs> uh, it helps to manage muscle discomfort. And so by putting that on, and it's a, it's a blend of some of your, your hot oils, uh, wintergreen, clove. Uh, helichrysum, clove, and peppermint. By putting that on your muscles, <laughs> uh, it definitely stimulates um, to kind of take away some of the discomfort after, like post-workout. Um, I know for myself, when I was in the military, they would just give us what we called ranger candy and it was ibuprofen, uh, to deal with any kind of pain. And it was, it was terrible. Uh, and another, another reason that they would give it to us is to, is for inflammation. And that's what this little guy is for too. It's copaiba and copaiba is very good for inflammation. Uh, it's very good for, um, just helping to manage, uh, the inflammation within your joints within your, your cells and, and um, really to kind of pull that out. Uh, it's both of those are very high antioxidant. Um, and the, the Copaiba, I mean, I, I use it topically, but I also take it internally. Um, so I'll put it in my Ningxia shot in the morning. Mm -hmm. So um, when I'm drinking my Ningxia red, I typically will put um, Copaiba, uh, Thieves, um, sometimes some peppermint if I'm if I'm on my way to the gym just to yeah. kind of really wake up. Um, but yeah, definitely Copaiba, um, great for um, inflammation management. Right, absolutely. And and so I guess in that case, this would also fall in, into like the daily category as well. Right. Because um, because I do the same thing daily. Uh, first thing I get up, I have a cup of tea, and and put some Copaiba in. Awesome. Um, so we all we also we already talked about the RC for opening your airways. Um, <clears throat> Lemongrass, lemongrass is very good for tendons. I know a lot of times when you're lifting heavy or maybe you've done something that's a little, maybe past what you should be doing or you're just stressed out from doing too much, lemongrass is very good for your tendons. Uh, that's something that I keep, uh, try to keep in my kit. And then also we, we highly recommend uh, immune boost. And so I, I keep thieves in my kit as well. 
Yep. And there's other things that would fall into your immune boost, whatever. But you can get worn down by working too much or, you know, you, you've got your daily stresses that go right along with uh, your working out. You know, whether you were in a place that was full of any kind of toxins in the workplace or whatever, you have to keep your immune system strong to help fight off anything that anything else that may be coming against you. And especially, especially if you're working out, especially if you are... Um, new to exercise, if your body is still adjusting, yeah. um, your immune system, I mean, for anybody becomes compromised when you're working out hard, but especially if you don't have the tolerance for it built up yet, um, your immune system is extremely compromised by working out. Um, just because your body is um, allocating resources that it would normally use for daily function and it's trying to repair cells that it's not used to having to repair. And so um, it's important to uh, be taking in thieves and, and lots of antioxidants in that during that time. Right. And then uh, also with the uh, muscle discomfort, this is a, a blend. Uh, it's one of Young Living's proprietary blends, and it is fantastic. Uh, they make this in, this is the gel, I believe you use the cream, right? Uh, no, I mean, mine's, the, mine's the, the gel, gel too. I mean, I, it's I use it almost fantastic. daily. I mean, like, so I have, I have scoliosis. Um, so, I mean, in addition to um, pan away, I use a lot of... Uh, my deep relief bottle out here. There we go. I use a lot of deep relief. Um, deep relief. If you haven't tried it, to me, I, it's amazing. Um, I use a lot of deep relief, a lot of pan away. Um, I use a lot of cool azul as well. Cool so amazing. cool azul is the. Uh, it's actually the oil that that is the uh, the main. Um, I would say active ingredient in um, the cool azul the uh, blend, cream. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, really strong stuff. I mean, if there's a you know, anybody out there who questions the uh, efficacy or the effectiveness of oils, um, you know, it, it, I know it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's kind of um, incumbent on guys to be more skeptical uh, was. of this. I mean, I was completely skeptical when my wife uh, wanted to get involved with essential oils. I was not on board. <laughs> I was I like, mean, I'm not a hippie. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm like, not for me. I'm like, you know, I'll just, I'll just stick to Motrin and Tylenol yeah. and, uh, you know, do your little oil thing, um, but um, the oils are very strong. You you rub some uh, some pan away in some sensitive areas, and you'll learn pretty quickly um, just how powerful uh, those oils are. Right, and so they, they definitely they don't do nothing. No. Right, <laughs> absolutely. And I will say this this right here. I was actually given a bottle of this by my chiropractor, and uh, I thought, yeah, right, whatever. You know, it's another blend. And, uh, but I put it on and I, man, I get to where I, if I have to get up and go first thing in the morning and I don't have time to like stretch and really, you know, get, get my morning wake up routine in, I'll put some of that on my spine. Cause I've got some, uh, some injuries, some latent injuries from when I was jumping out of planes and man, my spine just unwinds and yeah. I love it. It really makes a difference. And I get a lot of, uh, I, I, I would say probably, um, once every year, year and a half, I get, uh, 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 medial um, epicondylitis, which is uh, known as a uh, like golfer's elbow. Um, it's just from, typically it's from um, like squeezing a pull-up bar too tight. So during that motion, um, you tend to uh, get inflamed tendons on the inside of your arm. And so um, I use Cool Azul for that constantly, um, provides a lot of relief. Um, and then also um, I have a torn rotator that I tore almost three years ago now um, that still acts up regularly. And so cool Zool provides a lot of relief for those kinds of um, sports um, injuries. Absolutely. And so <clears throat> it's just important to be, to, to be uh, taking care of yourself in that way. And then I think maybe that's pretty much covers what we wanted to talk about. That's pretty much it. Um, and if anybody has any questions, you know, we're available. Uh, you can find us online and you can feel free to ask and we can go into further detail on. I mean, if you have, products. yeah, exactly. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Um, the, the, um, you know, Young Living is a, is a company that's been around for 25 plus years. Um, so <clears throat> they've been doing this for a long time. They have a track record of providing, um, really good, not only oils, but supplements as mm -hmm. well. Um, you know, they're, they're, I mean, I would say the most transparent company that I've ever seen. I've, I've never, never, yeah, I've never seen anything quite like it. I mean, if there's, if you want to go to any of their facilities, I mean, you can literally just call and ask for a tour or just show up and they will walk you around the facility and you can see how everything is made, where it all comes from. You can see the sourcing. And yeah. so um, 
those to me, that's to me is extremely important. Um, just that, uh, that you know you're getting a good product when a company is willing to be that open about um, how they make it and how it's um, how it's you know and manufactured and right. shipped and sourced and all those things. Um, so that's extremely important. Um, if you um, are interested in getting started, um, I we would recommend the uh, the premium starter kit. It's uh, uh, probably the best way to get started. Yeah. Um, it, it's mostly oil, so if you're if you're specifically interested in supplements, um, just let us know because there's another way to kind of go around and just start with the supplements. Right. But um, you still would need to buy a membership, so it's easier just to start with the starter kit and then go into the supplements from there. Yeah, that's the way I would recommend for sure. You're getting 11 of your most popular oils, uh, a lot of which we covered today, and uh, and and you're getting that half price. You're getting a free diffuser, and as well as a free membership. The membership's included in that. So everything is basically the best bang for your buck to get started. And if you are taking the supplements regularly, um, I mean, they do have a program where you can get on monthly. So if you have, if you know what you're going to be taking, or if you get, get into a routine where you, like, I know that I'm going to go through, you know, a bag of protein every month. I know I'm going to go through a tub of the BCAAs, the amino mm -hmm. Ys, and the Omega Gis every month. And so we just keep that on a cycle where every month that gets shipped out to us. Um, so it just keeps us kind of stocked up on fresh product and, uh, yeah, right. It's basically like, it's basically like customizing your own wellness package that comes right to your door. And by doing that, like I said, you're set up with your own account. You go in, you put in exactly what you want and they ship it right to your door. You don't have to go to go to the store and buy it. And then on top of that, because it's, it's considered a rewards program, uh, you'll get uh, 25, 24 percent off, up to 24 percent off, and m which is basically money back that you can put back into into more product or whatever, and as well as based on uh, how much you spend every month, I know I'm going to spend up to a certain point. Um, uh, they give you free product. I mean, they give you stuff back. There's a lot of loyalty rewards, and there's I mean, there's other aspects to Young Living than just fitness. So, I mean, there's a lot of other wellness areas that they cover. Yeah. I mean, we've really just kind of scratched the surface. Oh. I mean, we've we covered, you know, maybe a dozen products. Yeah. Um, and they have well over 300. And so there's a lot of different areas of wellness that they provide um, products and supplements and things for. Um, so um, I'd encourage you to check it out and, and ask us if you have any questions. Yeah. Um, if nobody has any questions, um, I think I'm pretty much good. I think that's pretty much it. We covered so, it. And like I said, we, we kind of skimmed over the surface. If you do have other questions or you think of something, again, contact us and let us know. Uh, there, we could have gone into so much. We could have spent days on this. Yeah, so. I mean, we were, we were like cutting stuff out before the cloud. We're like, well, how much detail do we really want to go into on uh, energy systems and ATP production? And, you know, how far down do we want to break down the protein that – you know, it, I mean, we could spend over an hour just right. talking about Pure Protein Complete and how, you know, not only the proteins that are in it, the, the aminos that are in it, but I mean, even the, the levels of, you know, uh, vitamins and minerals and things that are in it. And uh, we could have spent over an hour just on that one product. So um, there is a lot more um, to everything. So if you, uh, like I said, have any questions, let us know. Other than that, uh, we will talk to everybody later. All right. Thanks for coming on. All right.